Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and creating costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating Peter Pan from Disney's animated classic, Peter Pan. Let's get started. Here we have everything we need now for Peter Pan. We have our elf ears, which if you were with me on my last Shop With Me video, we actually got these at Spirit Halloween. It's a good product. They're latex ears. They're gonna blend right in with my skin tone with a little bit of spirit gum and maybe a little bit of liquid latex. I have some extra material here that my friend Winterbauer gave me. I'm gonna use these to cover my shoes to make them look more like elf shoes. Feathers, of course. We're gonna need a feather in our hat. And here's the top. We also purchased in my latest Shop With Me video that we're gonna transform into Peter Pan's lime green elf sort of looking top that he wears. I actually purchased this knife. <laughs> And it's actually a real knife. You'd probably want to get a costume knife <laughs> for this if you're going out. They may not let you in <laughs> to wherever you're going. I bought this. We happen to be at a gun show, so I purchased this there. And a belt for it to go on. He has a, a belt with a knife hanging on him on his side. And then I have some felt here to create a hat. And this was the most perfect wig I found online. This is an anime wig. I will put up here the exact wig that I bought, but I think it's perfect for Peter Pan. It's the perfect color. It's kind of disheveled the way his was, boyish, androgynous sort of wig. And then I have these shoes, which I was gonna cover to create a more elf looking shoe. Of course, we have some stretchy forest green leggings that I bought online on Amazon. Um, everything was pretty cheap for this one. I mean, this is not a very expensive costume and it's gonna look great. Let's get started. This is your completed Peter Pan costume. We've got our leggings, we've created our shirt from another shirt that looked completely different before we started on it. We've got our knife. Again, I'm going to stress, don't carry around a real knife. This is a real knife. Um, but if you're doing a costume, just go to the costume shop and get like a fake knife. 
I actually bought this one. It's real from a gun show for like 20 bucks with the sheath and everything. Um, I bought a belt and there's our funky looking little elf shoes and our finished hat and wig. And that's it. It's so easy and so comfortable. You're gonna love it. Let's get started with our makeup. It's makeup time. All I've done is put foundation on. Uh, this is a Kat Von D foundation that I use for a lot of cartoon characters because it's kind of pasty. It's very fair and uh, it stays on pretty good. So Peter Pan is very easy. It's going to be just regular makeup. We've got our latex ears ready to go and now that my foundation is on, I'm going to start with my eyebrows and work my way down, like I always do. For his eyebrows, he has black eyebrows, so I'm going to try and use my own natural arch and add to that. That's the best way I think to go. So we're going to go ahead and do our eyebrows. They kind of go up and they're a little bushy, starting with something like that, and I'm going to build from that. Now we're just gonna fill in to cover up my natural brow. You wanna make sure you have a nice sharp point on your pencil for this because you wanna get those kind of bushy hairs. I did look at a lot of pictures of Peter Pan, but I have not watched a movie in years. Can't quite remember anything about the film, but he's kinda like an elf sort of character. He's got the elf shoes, the elf ears. Now I know they have Peter Pan bagged costumes, like the ones you can buy already in the bag. With something so simple, I'd suggest go ahead and, and creating it yourself. It's going to look better. With things that are so simple like that, they charge way too much and it's going to look real cheap and not it's not going to fit you right and it's going to be weird. So just do it yourself. It's very easy to do. One eyebrow done. Let's do the other one. There they are, Peter Pan eyebrows. All right, next, I think I wanna do a little bit of a lid. What I've noticed is that he has a little bit of black liner on the lid. Very simple, he is a boy after all. The great thing about Peter Pan and doing this costume it's comfortable, it's recognizable, and it's cheap and easy to do. And you can get a group of friends and y'all can all go as different characters from Peter Pan. And they're all pretty comfortable, except for maybe like Captain Hook. He's the only one that's a little bit more work, but it'd be a really cute group costume. It's a little bit of a cat eye, not really. <laughs> And what I use for liner is this, it's just Maybelline Ultra Liner. It is a brush applicator and I've been using this for years. This is what I always use. I'm more comfortable with the brush. I feel like it works better, but you can use whatever liner you want. As long as it does the job, it doesn't matter, right? We do the other one. Oh, this is a weird watery one. Now, sometimes when you buy this Maybelline liquid liner, it's real watery, like I don't know why, but I have several of these around the house and some are better than others. So it's a little inconsistent and it's like $11 in the store. So I get upset when it's like that. So it's a little bit of a cat eye. You know, it kind of turned into more of a cat eye because <laughs> I was trying to get them even and, and stuff. So, but that's okay because he is a cartoon character. And if you do look at pictures, you will notice that he does have a black line on his upper lid. So that's what we're trying to convey here. So what's everybody gonna be for Halloween? Do you know? Because it's October 4th and you're running out of time, literally now. If you're ordering anything online, you better get it because you don't know if it's gonna come in time and get on those things because every now and then you'll get lucky with a last minute costume. That don't happen always. This is the kind of costume you want to do if, say, you're kind of into Halloween, but you don't really like dressing up or 
You don't like wearing costumes because it's a lightweight, not a lot of makeup, something you can do very easily. Let's go ahead and get our mascara on. This is for all you people out there that go to costume parties without a costume. This will be a great costume for you. No excuses. I am putting mascara on. You still want to kind of look animated. He is a cartoon character. Any animated character that you're doing, you can be a little dramatic with that. The drama is going to add to the finished look. So I would suggest going a little dramatic with your cartoon characters. I'm lining my lower lid a little bit just to the center. And then I'm going to put white liner on my waterline. If you're a guy doing this costume and you're not comfortable with all the makeup, you can omit any part of this makeup and just use your own features. But me being a girl and kind of wanting to look a little cartoony, so I've got my bottom lids lined only to about the center. Now I'm gonna add a white liner to the bottom here. And that's gonna really open up your eye. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush make him have rosy cheeks. There's that. I've got a contour palette here and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of contour to bring out the features. So a little bit on my nose. I'm doing this with a q-tip. I'm not the contour professional here. I'm just doing a dark brown contour um, so that it actually shows up. <laughs> I want to do that sort of button nose trend. Um, just a little, maybe a little on the chin here. And uh, not too much, because he is a young boy. You know, we don't want to look like we have wrinkles. And with the center of the nose here, I'm just going to add a little white to highlight. And I'll probably do that with the chin as well. Maybe a little on my forehead. I'm not too concerned with the forehead. My wig comes down quite a bit, so. I'm just gonna, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna blend that because it looks kind of weird right now. Now I think I'm gonna ha add some cartoon lines to my face. I'm just using a regular black pencil for this. Well, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but because he's not wearing like lipstick or anything, just to be, just to show up a little better, I'm doing the black liner. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna add a little bit around my face here, right at the jawline. And I'm just kind of blending those in a little bit just making it look smoother. That's Peter Pan. Now, we're gonna add our ears. <laughs> these are great. You'll still be able to hear in these, but you could always cut a hole in them. You know, just a little hole so that you can hear better. If you're hard of hearing, like my husband. That might help you hear a little bit better. Because <laughs> they are completely closed. So, I think they're great though. They're really nice ears. My other pair just kind of clipped on. I have another pair that I used for my fairy costume and my Nosferatu costume, which these would be really great for Nosferatu too. Either one, Nosferatu or a fairy. So I have my spirit gum adhesive on there. You want to apply it and let it get a little tacky and then put it on just like with eyelash glue. It's going to stick a little better that way. Try not to get it in your hair. <laughs> It will rip your hair out. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to worry about blending. You can if you want to. Uh, I was going to use a liquid latex to blend it. But because my hair is kind of everywhere, it's going to kind of cover that, I think. So it won't really be necessary. And plus, I can conserve my liquid latex <laughs> for other costumes that really need it. <laughs> Not that I have a shortage of it or anything, but it just makes it last a little longer. All right. Now I got my other one to put on. If you can feel it lifting, you may need to add a little more spirit gum or just press it. I did apply pretty liberally. Anytime you're putting on some kind of piece, you do want to have quite a bit of spirit gum. Make sure it stays on because that would not be cute. You're all out and about and your ears start falling off. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. 
It's been so long since I saw Peter Pan. Man, I've been so busy lately. I've, you know, I have a full-time job now, and this is a full-time job, so on my days off from my full-time job, I'm doing this full-time, pretty much. It's been, it's been pretty wild. If you are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. I'll let you know a little bit about um, my schedule here on the channel for costumes. In October, and we're in October, I do two costumes a week. There'll be a costume on Sunday at 3 p.m. and a costume on Wednesday at 3 p.m. November, I take off for the month, um, for costumes anyway. I'm still doing cemeteries. And then in December, I start doing one costume a month. December is usually a decades costume. So if you're going to a themed decade party, which they do have a lot of around New Year, I'll be uploading a new decade each December. And then January through April, I do one costume a month. That'll be the last week of each month on Wednesday at 3 p.m. And then May through September, I do a costume a week, every Wednesday at 3 p.m. So <laughs> that's just the rundown for you. It's a lot, but I enjoy doing it. And I hope you love it too. All right, let me get this ear on. Kind of have to hold it open. You're probably gonna get a little spirit gum on your hands. All right, let's get that. <laughs> These look great, don't they? So yeah, also if you're new to the channel, just briefly, I started this channel because it seemed like there was a lot of creators that are just really good, like professional makeup artists and stuff. And that's really fun to watch and they are awesome. But it was either they were really great and they were spending quite a bit just on prosthetics for their face or, you know, these foam latex pieces can run you... I mean, just for, I did Miss, P Miss Piggy and just to give you an idea, just for a pig nose, it was like... $25 for just the nose. So prosthetics, facial prosthetics are very expensive. They can run you into the hundreds depending on what you're getting. Mrs. Doubtfire, the foam latex piece that I used for Mrs. Doubtfire was like $50. And I mean, that's the cost of almost the whole costume. So I really wanted to provide people with other options that aren't so pricey, that they can kind of create themselves, makeup that they could do themselves, you know, not everybody's a makeup artist. So I thought it was important that people had other options besides, you know, just the real professional stuff or, you know, there's some out there that just don't look good at all. So I wanted to be somewhere in between. And that's why I started the channel. And I appreciate all you new subscribers. It really helps the channel. Um, just have fun with it. These ears are great. All right, now that that's done, let's put on our costume. All dressed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. Again, easy, comfortable, affordable. And if you don't like wearing costumes, this is the costume for you. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween!